Taiwan's former president Ma jing -oh is making a controversial trip to China. The visit comes less than two months before Taiwan inaugurates its new leader. And reports suggest Ma could make history by meeting China's president, Xi Jinping. We now go live to our Asia correspondent, Stash Butler, who joins us from Taipei's main airport. Stash, Ma says this trip is about easing tensions between Taiwan and China. That's right, Holly. Uh, Ma ying former president of Taiwan, speaking to reporters, giving a very brief uh, remark to them as he uh, leaves on an 11-day trip, flying first to Shenzhen with an entourage of students. Now, on the face of it, this is a student exchange meant to encourage interaction between Taiwan and China, whose top officials haven't spoken publicly to one another in the best part of a decade. Ma says that his trip is about easing those tensions and ushering in an era of peace. I hope that as the current cross-strait situation becomes increasingly tense, we can convey the voice of the Taiwanese people who love peace and hope to avoid war. This trip is both a journey of peace and a journey of friendship. But all eyes in Taipei will be on who Ma meets while he's in China and what he says while he's there, because the intense speculation among the media here is that Ma is set to meet Xi Jinping, the current president of China, in Beijing uh, later this week. Now, that, it won't be the first time that Ma and Xi have met. They had a historic meeting in Singapore in 2015. But nonetheless, this would be, if this goes ahead, the first meeting between a former or current leader of Taiwan and the leader in Beijing since 1949, when the Chinese Civil War ended. Uh, now, it'll be the first meeting of its kind, I should say, on Chinese soil. So if it does go ahead, a momentous occasion, uh, a momentous event in the history of relations between Taiwan and China. Stash, um, can you just walk us through, I guess, what makes this trip so controversial at the moment in Taiwan? Well, Holly... Ma ying is unabashedly a pro-unification uh, politician. Now, broadly speaking, political opinion in Taiwan is divided between people who, who want uh, Taiwan to unify with China and people who want Taiwan to immediately declare independence. Now, Ma falls somewhere towards the unification side of that spectrum, whereas the vast majority of the Taiwanese population sit somewhere in the middle. So he really is a somewhat of an outlier in that sense. Uh, Politicians against him, who put his, uh, his opponents in the political scene, say that he's undermining Taiwan's sovereignty by speaking with Chinese officials on the basis that Taiwan and China are part of one greater political unit, or rather that they should be. Among those political opponents is Lai Qingde, the current vice president and president-elect after he won January's presidential election. He's going to be inaugurated in less than two months, on May the 20th. Now, this visit comes at a highly sensitive time for Taiwan as it's preparing for that transition and as it prepares for a potential transfer of power to, in the U.S., its most major military backer. Stash Butler, thank you for the update on this. We'll speak with you soon.